Hey, Adam Colbertson here. Before we begin, we got a promo from another independent podcast, so when you finish this episode, make sure you go and check them out. After the mysterious death of his father, Vartan returns home to uncover the truth with the help of his newfound friends, Baya and Ovik. But his hometown of Eternal may have something even more sinister in store for them. Join us for their journey into the untold at etherealembracepodcast.com or anywhere you listen to podcasts by searching for Ethereal Embrace. Steal your mind for eldritch horrors of the universe unknown. For what is to follow is a tale of intrigue, mystery, and madness. You're listening to microphones and monsters. You're about to turn the corner uh, onto her street, and uh, you hear, Get out of here, you fool! You, you turn the corner, and you see, actually, uh, Matthias uh, running down the street in the opposite direction, and, and Gertie throws throws uh, this dress out into the street. <laughs> so, <laughs> this dress, uh, does it happen to, to seem to be anything like uh, what was described for the missing dress? Yes, it does. I, I will. I will look at both of my companions. Uh, I take it that was uh, Matthias. Mm, indeed. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's uh, let's walk over to Gertie and see if we can speak with her. Uh, uh, excuse me, Miss. Uh, she's uh, like dusting off her her dress that she's she's already wearing, and and so like, yes. Yeah, uh, how can I help you? I'm sorry to intrude. It looks like you were uh, in a in. Uh, a bit of an altercation. Are you okay? Or did you did that man uh, try to uh, assail you in any way? No, he's uh, can I, I wouldn't say that. Uh, but he, I've had some issues with him and coming around here, uh, bothering me, bothering me at the theater before, and I just uh, even had him fired. Uh, do you uh, you you work over at the theater? Why, yes, I'm I'm the leading lady. Oh, that's wonderful. Um I'm uh, Gertie. Gertie. Oh, Gertie. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh my name is uh Dr. Cottage. Uh I have taken over um residency over at the clinic. I I was uh looking through some information and uh saw your name on file. Oh, uh is there is there something wrong, doctor? Oh no, nothing, nothing wrong. I I will mention, however, though, um, due to the um, uh, the uh, Darkwell um, uh, Universal Healthcare Plan, uh, you are entitled to one free physical a year. So I just, as a good time as always, I would remind you that you should uh, use that before the uh, year's up. Oh, uh, well, thank you, thank you so much. I've never had a doctor be so uh, astute to to making sure his patients are, are taken care of. I just, like, I just, going lot, out of your way. A lot of a lot of a lot of people don't know this, but uh, it's yes, it's available to everyone um, uh, registered within the town. So, um, uh, not to not to jump off topic, um, but um, uh, I'm I'm relatively new in town, and I have not. You know, seeing a lot of activity going on at the theater. Is it uh, is it closed down for whatever any reason? Uh yes. Um, but first, uh, who's your friends? Oh yes, this is um, uh, my associate, um, Mr. Stodge. Hi, hi, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm I'm Gertie. Think, uh, nice to meet you. 
and this is a cat. That that's Alistair. This yes, is oh, this you. is Alistair the cat. Alistair. Uh, would you like to come in and have some some sweet tea? That sounds lovely, actually. Uh, please, if you do, if we're not uh, intruding. Oh yes, by by all means, come in. Okay. Uh, I mean, you went out of your way to to come and tell me about uh, me getting a physical, and and I will be down there tomorrow, actually. Oh, wonderful. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, please uh, lead the way. Would would uh, Alistair like sweet tea too? I don't know what cat. Uh, I got milk. Milk would be fine, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. He he he'd like some milk. Okay, okay. So it's uh, not to be uh, stingy. Uh, do you happen to have a little bit of um um lemonade? There is a there's a mixture between uh, lemonade and sweet tea that uh, I'm quite fond of. Oh, leave it to the alchemist to want to mix drinks. It's, ter- <laughs> it's terrible. Don't try it. <laughs> uh, don't mind him. He's just uh, he. I, I keep telling him that uh, lemon is is a good astringent. It would help him with his um, with his voice. But um, it's you know it's well. I'll 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 get to him one day. She just tells y'all to to take a seat in the in the living room, and and after y'all take a seat, she comes out with a, a tray with a pitcher of lemonade and and sweet tea, both on ice, and and uh, with with some glasses, and sets it on the coffee table. And then she sits down and she she pours her a glass and, and sits down. Uh, thank you, um, uh, Gertie. Um, how long have you been uh been living here? Uh, for uh, let's see, maybe the past five years is when I came into town. And um, have you uh, always uh worked at the theater? Uh, yeah. I mean, I was I was a, a child star. Gert, Gert, Gertie, uh, 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 how how old are you again? I'm t- I'm sorry. It's it's <laughs> a, a terribly um inappropriate for me to ask a lady her age. It's merely from uh medical curiosity. I'm uh. Just twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Um, uh, Don't look a day over twenty-three. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you flatter me. <laughs> you just give Victor the side eye, like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> so is it, this, this, this is going to be Three's company? <laughs> Come on, knock on our door. We're waiting for you. <laughs> Okay. Um, what uh, have you? Uh, what made you uh, move to Darkwell? Was there? Uh, uh, was did you always want to be in the theater here, or did you? you know, what What made you come to this town? Yeah, uh, the the House of Manuseed is is famous. Um, I I wanted to be an actress here, and it wasn't long, and I was the the leading lady. I heard, um, not really heard. I I work at the clinic. Um, I, I it may be a, a little remiss to uh, inform you, but um, you know that the uh, uh, the recent murder victim was a uh, one Nihilus, who I believe you worked uh, relatively closely with. Oh yes, poor poor Nihilus. What would you? What happened to him? I, I knew he went missing after after our dinner. Uh, but. We all saw him head towards home, and he never, nobody ever saw him again. Uh, I believe um, his, uh, it is um, unfortunate to let you know that he has actually passed. Oh, that's, um, that's a shame. The uh, the matter of which is uh, still under investigation. Um, mm. It's uh, kind of um, a curiosity of mine currently, as I've just gotten to the town, and there is already uh, a mysterious death. The theater will not be the same without him. And she uh, kind of sheds a tear. Yes, the um, councilwoman uh, came by earlier today and um, shared uh, quite the same sentiment, if not more. Um, She uh, also mentioned um, the night before he passed, uh, um, you, not her, but uh, you and some of the um, members of the theater were at a dinner. Oh, yes, like I said... uh, we got we we were we were discussing re- reopening the theater and and uh we all had a dinner uh we've gotten together multiple times like that and i mean none of us had too much to drink or anything and and uh we all uh split ways and he headed off to his house i headed off to mine and 
and everybody headed off to theirs, and and he just we that that was the last time we saw him. Nihilus wasn't acting uh, suspicious or erratic. No, at not at all. Like he was, he was excited, excited to to be back working. Was there anyone there who um, was, you know, being a little suspicious? Was this um, that gentleman we saw um, uh, causing Mathias. a scene outside Matthias? Um, was he uh, uh, was he at the dinner? Oh no, he he uh, he has a bit of an obsession with me, and he made me and others feel uncomfortable, and he did not last much longer after after that obsession uh just grew and grew uh to the point that he could not leave me alone and apparently he is still trying to win me over somehow bringing me a dress from the play i i so, just so he brought that dress then tonight yes well well <laughs> so see it's so easy it's so, it's so easy, easy. <laughs> So, so the dress that 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 we saw a minute ago, did he bring that to you? Yeah, he knocked on my door. I open it and I see him holding the dress from the 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 one of the dresses I wear during a, a goblin's life. So, I don't know, when was the last time that you saw him prior to tonight? Uh, he he wants to know the the last time that that you saw. Uh, Matthias prior to, to tonight? Um, I have seen him occasionally uh, here and there since uh, he had been fired. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm curious, did he have any disagreements with, with Mr. Creel? Um, I mean, other than, uh, None of us wanting him there. I, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say that he would have disagreements with only Nihilus, but I always thought of him as as uh, somewhat harmless. But uh, he definitely rubs me the the wrong way. And um, he's a musician. Have you ever heard him play any unusual music, or does no. he play? More? Uh, his music is is beautiful. He's definitely. Not, uh, he wasn't fired for his ability to play. Yes, I think it was the, uh, his uh, erratic behavior, um, uh, outside of work and possibly at work, as, um, oh, definitely the missus both. alluded to. And, uh, this, uh, Matthias has, uh, been in town, um, uh, just as long as you have been in town? Or is he uh, a recent, uh, transplant to Darkwell? Uh, as far as I know, he was born here. What do you um what do you plan to do um after um the recent events? Do you think the theater will end up uh reopening or I do, do but you... I believe that we will reopen and I will make sure that uh I will send uh free tickets to the clinic for uh you three to uh come and watch. I would I would appreciate that. That would be that would be uh, uh very, very kind of you. Overly kind, I would say. Um, would it be difficult to get four? Oh, not, not an issue at all. Yeah, the you nurse at the clinic is really friendly. I think uh, Gerbo. I think, uh, I think we could. Oh yes, oh yes, of course, Gerbo. <laughs> Thank you for remembering. Sorry. Um, yes, uh, Gerbo. Gerbo uh, spoke very highly of you when um, I uh, was uh, going through the records and just offhandedly mentioned your name. Hey, it's nice to have fans. Mm -hmm. Indubitably. But obviously, you don't want them to be too enthusiastic. He seems happy. Yeah, he's yeah. he's he's being very. I would see. I think he's being very coy right now. I think he's very <laughs> happy with the milk you gave him. <laughs> well, I I don't want to um uh take up uh any any more of your time. So um uh it was very nice to meet you. Thank you for um the refreshments. And um, yes, um, uh, would you happen to know uh, what time you would be uh, stopping by the clinic tomorrow? Uh, maybe, maybe around afternoon or early afternoon. Okay, I will. Uh, I will make an effort to uh, be at the clinic um, for whatever reason. If I am not, um, uh, my right hand man Gerbo would be uh, more than happy to assist. 
and I will um, uh, dutifully, uh, dutifully follow up uh, with any um, uh, anything for concern or alarm, and um, reach back out to you. Uh, thank, thank you, Doctor. You're you're welcome. Um, have a good evening. Ah, uh, you you three have a good evening as well. Yes, thank you, ma'am, for the tea. Ah, uh, no problem. Yes, thank you. He's also you're a good kitty. <laughs> <laughs> he is a good kitty. <laughs> well, we'll we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and walk out. Um, I would like to take a closer look at that dress that was left outside. I assume she didn't take um, it back in. The dress isn't out there anymore. Shit. <sighs> I'll give you two guesses where it went. It fell into a portal with some frog creatures. That's that's one guess. <laughs> <laughs> What's the second? Matthias is going to go do something with it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um. So in light of that, we should probably talk to Matthias, but perhaps wait just a bit. <laughs> yeah. Or we could uh, catch him off guard, and he could... Um, you mean catch him with his pants around uh, his ankles? Oh, God. <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying, but I know it's fucked up. <laughs> Victor, um, what do you think? Uh, do you think we should pay this man another visit? Or I was not able to really glean any information. She seems like a very nice person, very well-adjusted, except... Uh, with this, with this murder matter and this um, uh, stalking, as it were, from this Matthias, uh, do you think we should confront him, or do you think we should um, take this to uh, a shotgun and see if he could um, maybe investigate him a little further? Uh, we don't really have the authority to do so. Um, yeah, and Shotgun didn't seem to be very happy with the fact that we were asking questions either. I don't know if going to him. Would we be don't the have best to do this in person. We could uh, uh, write uh, an anonymous letter or something to tip him off. It's not a bad idea. Actually, I have something uh, in mind for that that might be quite interesting. Knock yourself out. Because y'all, y'all are standing on the street in front of Gertie's house. Mm-hmm. So as as y'all are talking, uh, you hear. Inside Gertie's house, um, you hear a crash and a glass break. Oh, uh, okay. I will. Uh, I'll yeah. run up to the door and is it open? It's locked. Uh, I'll knock on the door. <laughs> Excuse me, Gertie. Uh, are you all right? We heard a, a noise outside. There's no response. I'm. I'm going to go ahead and go with my typical modus operandi and uh, go look for an open window. window. Uh, they, there's a there's a window you can jump to. Um, that is open um, that you could jump to from the porch. I'm going to use my okay. um, my thieves tools and see if I can bypass the lock. Okay. I'm going to stand a... there tensely. <laughs> 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 Hold on. Uh, what's uh, What was that again? Is it, at, um, is it a sleight of hand? Slide of, I think we decided on sleight of hand. Yeah. That's I what know it was. if you're a proficient in tools, you can rule the roll your proficiency bonus on the tools check. Like it definitely would be a dex check. Um, but I think it may be better to like attribute it to a skill so that you can like be it, more proficient than just, yeah, oh, I know, well, I know how to use tools. I know. Um, hold yeah. on. Let me, let me double check and make sure I am proficient. I'm pretty sure I am proficient in it. Alchemist supplies, leatherworking tools, poisoner's kit, uh, thieves tools. Yes. Okay. I'm so proficient you, in it. Yeah. You roll your, uh, thieves tools skills. Well, proficiency bonus and the bonus for sleight of hand are literally the same. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. Earl Lynn, that is a 19. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you, you pick the door and uh, you, you open it. Okay, I'm going to go right in. Alistair is already inside uh, looking around and, and uh, you, you meet each other in the, in the living room. Mm-hmm. So what, what do we see? Uh, you don't uh, see anything uh, yet. Okay. It, it sounded like it might have came from the back of the house. Okay. To the back of the house. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's, let's no, go back there. There's Obviously, no, I went inside too. Okay. There's no. There's no. Yeah, you see, me just pick a lock and just go straight into his house. You, like, you, what the you, fuck you, is he doing? You gonna be the lookout? <laughs> okay. um, Not this time. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, so we don't see any of the any glass or anything like that, or um, cause so disturbance you actually, in the front. So you actually, you actually get into the back where the kitchen is. Okay. And you notice that uh, the door is uh, broken and it's hanging outside of the house okay and uh there's a uh, glass uh going down the stairs um down the 
down the back door. Okay. Any any anything else? Blood or anything like uh, that? There is blood. Oh. What color blood? Red. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember if goblins. I don't know if red. goblins yeah. bleed black or uh, red yeah. or what. I can't remember. Um, we'll go with red. We'll go with red for now. Um, okay, then I'll then I'll definitely follow the the trail of the disturbance and see if I can find out where it's going. So I'll go out the back door, the All broken right, back so, door. Um, uh, you, uh, there's a trail of blood uh, that goes through the backyard, like it's a small little little back area, mm-hmm. and uh, it it disappears on you. All right, can I smell it? Or you could taste it. I got uh, if it if they just started bleeding, I wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, well, I mean, you would also have to be eating flesh, yeah. not just drinking blood. Okay. I don't know if you could like lick the blood and like get a get a hint of something. Yeah, I've got grave nose, but I forget exactly what it does. That's for that's for uh, people that are dead, right? Vantage on wisdom checks that rely on smell and notice or recognize corpses, decaying things, meat, and undead creatures. Are we going to consider blood part of that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, then. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can follow the blood smell. Do that voodoo that you do. Uh, Give me that roll. <laughs> hold, 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 hold. <laughs> I, everyone be real quiet. <laughs> okay, so like, I guess it's like a Wolverine uh, shit. perception check. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, Because I have advantage. Okay, so that would be a 16. Okay. Uh, it, it smells like Gertie. Okay. blood. Can I tell where um, the smell is going? Like, can I follow the trail, or do, um, do I just know it's Gertie's blood? Yeah, you have a uh, a faint. Um, you you smell a faint trail. Um, that's. Uh, are are y'all gonna follow now? Yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna follow that trail as long as it goes. Okay, so uh, it it actually uh, leads you uh, back to the theater. Back to the theater. Like front door, back door, uh, back door, back door. All right. Um, I want to try to open the back door. Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh locked. Popping that lock. Is the office window still open? No. No, you don't find any open windows. That is a six, and it's uh starting to get dark. It's not completely dark yet, but the the sun's starting to mm-hmm. to go down. And you have a six. Mm-hmm. Uh, you fail uh, to to unlock the door, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, uh, Victor, I think we're past the uh, discreet approach. Uh, do you mind? Uh, yeah, I can Let's try. Point to the door. I can try. Uh, so I, what do I need to roll to, to try to bust this door down? Uh, strength. Strength. Check. Use a strength check. Okay. And, and the DC of a door <laughs> is not super high. <laughs> or the AC. that would be a six. Um, so you, uh, you, you, how are you slamming your shoulder into it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. Just, so, uh, you, you, you throw your body into the door and it doesn't, uh, you could tell that there isn't just a door block. Like you could, you could feel like something is, is stopping the door from even moving. Like a bar. Oh, okay. Like, like maybe it's, uh, blocked by something oh, yeah. being barred up or something. Oh, okay. This door is not moving. Alistair, any luck with the window? Well, it is closed, but I suppose that that's not entirely an obstacle. I uh, just may need some help with um, opening it. Okay. Bust through the window and get in there. Yeah. Can we break the window open? Yeah. Do we need to roll for that? No. Excellent. <laughs> Open the window. Do your thing. Okay. Well, I will. I will go ahead and climb up there and carefully move through the broken window. I, I don't really care to spill blood over this. All right. Um, you, uh, there wouldn't even be a check for being careful, is there? <laughs> no. Um, no, you're, you're very, very just, careful. Just you're a, a cat. You're, you're pretty careful. Well, nimbly bimbly. Yeah. Tree to um, tree. And, uh, the, um, you notice that the, the place was like, you notice blood. There's like a blood on, uh, on the desk and on, on the papers hmm. as you get in. And it looks like there was some kind of, uh, Struggle, yeah, altercation and, and a struggle, and uh, and then there's a a trail of blood. It looks like somebody was uh, dragged out of the room. It doesn't sound great. Uh, which room was that? Was that the office? That's again? the office. Uh, the the owner's office. Okay. Um, I'm going to really quick use a message. Okay. Uh, to contact Victor. Okay. Um, 
it seems there might be something going on in here. I'm going to try to get the uh, the front door open for you. Can I talk back with message? Uh, I believe it does allow one response. Yeah, yeah but you have to you have to say or you have to indicate in the message to reply to it. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna head around to the front. Well, the front's barred. No, the back was barred. Oh, the back was barred. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Al- Alistair's inside. He's, he told us to go to the front. front? He's going to try okay. to open it. I'll follow so you, Victor. Hopefully now I'll be able to get out of the office. You will. Yeah, the door's open. Yeah, okay. the, the You see the, the blood trail uh, as you as you leave the office. Um, you see the, the blood trail, uh, the drag marks uh, going towards the, the, th- the, the, stage. the stage. Yeah. That's what I thought. Anyway, so to the front door, and I will go ahead and... Hopefully, not have to deal with anything too major to get it unblocked. No, it's it's the same as before. Uh, okay. It's just locked. Nothing, nothing was barring I it. Matthias getting the back door, and I couldn't. It's not because he blocked it up afterwards. Yeah, probably. yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and unlatch it. Okay, yeah, you do. And uh, you, all right, we'll go you, through. Yeah, and you're you're all inside the theater now. Okay, um, let's uh, let's go to the go to the back backstage. Doesn't mean there's nothing clearly out front, so. Oh, I mean, you hear, uh, or hear, or regard to the noise, or you start hearing uh, the violin music, not not the creepy violin music, but violin but playing. regular violin music uh, being played, and it sounds like it's coming from like the stage, okay, inside the the auditorium. All right, we'll we'll go there. Okay, we'll go up to the stage. Yeah. So you uh you heading in there from the front, the back of the, mm-hmm. or the back of the. Theater. Auditorium, mm-hmm. not not the not backstage, but at the entrance to the yeah. auditorium. Okay. Yes, yeah. Um, so uh, you walk in and you see Matthias standing on stage and and he's he's playing, um, but you also see uh, Gertie, uh, hanging, uh, up in the, uh, in the in the dress that was uh thrown out into the street earlier that you saw hanging by what uh she's like hanging uh she's on like this uh this prop uh um hanging up in the like by cables um she's on this prop like tied around her waist or like she's uh, she's tied to uh like say, a fake cloud oh, or something like okay. a like a yeah like a like a fake cloud or, okay yeah. it's not hanging but like tied down to something yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and she's she's up in the up in the sky and he's playing okay. uh the violin on the on the stage. Excuse me, you must be Matthias. He can't hear you. Okay, I'm just gonna fire a shot at the <laughs> the violin. Oh, you're firing I'm a shot. Li- I'm, literally, I'm gonna take gracious. out my crossbow, I'm gonna fire a shot at the violin. Okay. Uh, he's not me- paying attention. Okay. All right, I'll give you an attack roll. Uh hold on. Let me pull it up real fast. Uh, da, 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 da. and that has a plus one on advantage because the crossbow is infused with repeating shot from one of my arcane infusions so okay. it gets plus one on roll and damage okay so uh where's my actions no D D beyond don't fail me all right i'm just gonna roll it in that hold on and uh are you moving towards him to within a certain distance um at least i'm gonna at least get 30 feet from him okay mm-hmm. okay all right what are the rest of you getting 30 feet from him are y'all moving along with him um i think i'm going to probably hang back just a little bit from that okay i'll i'll go ahead and and just try to try to i'll i'll i'll, I'll keep step with uh julian okay for the moment since he's taken an action i'm just gonna let him lead off uh, so that attack is 15, 15. Okay. Uh, that uh, your crossbow bolt hits the, hits the violin and, and knocks it out of his hand. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the, the music stops of course. And, and, uh, he looks at you and he's like, ah, so you, you found me. Yeah. Yes, we did. We did. Um, you, you didn't really make it subtle, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm just uh, playing some music for my love. The one you tied up. Uh, well, she just doesn't know it yet. Gertie, are you okay? She's passed out. She's unconscious. She'll hear the music really well if she's uh, unconscious. Oh, well, uh, 
maybe if she can't hear that, maybe she can hear this. And uh, he he turns around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god! And uh, he he opens up this other case. Oh. And uh, he pulls out this this violin, and it's a uh, very strange looking violin, and and uh, starts playing, and you hear the that screeching. Oh gosh! Music. It's that music. And it's him. As he's playing, portals start opening up on stage. Oh man, we got crazy music and portals. Oh man, looks like we're going into the first boss fight in the next episode. It was Matthias all along. Well, y'all just found out about him last episode, but yeah, it was Matthias all along. <laughs> hope you, hope you're enjoying this. I'm Adam Colbertson, your dungeon master here at Microphones and Monsters, and your creepy violin music playing dude. But yeah, follow us on Twitter at Mike's and Monsters. You can always go to microphonesandmonsters.com. We got links to everything there. It's your one-stop shop for microphones and monsters. Because I just felt like saying it again. But yeah, go there. Click stuff. Uh, Enjoy it. I hope you are enjoying it. For real. All songs written and produced by Marco Mazzi at Fallen Highway Studios. Oh man, I I, I loved playing out this this next part. So I, I hope you... I hope you're enjoying this and you, you, you stick around for, for the next episode because it's going to get fucking crazy, dude, here on Microphones and Monsters. <laughs>